Yo, what's up? We're back with another video. This time, I'm going to be ranking these top 100 most streamed songs on Spotify. Um, I did this already 11 months ago. It's basically been a year. Uh, this video, like, completely underperformed, even though I spent, like, a week and a half making it. So, this time, I spent about two hours uh, getting this list in a Google document completely unedited video i'm just gonna start yapping for a little bit but let's jump right in i'm gonna compare my feelings about songs now to what they were a year ago so uh strap in lock in as i should say so that you must lock in put your full attention onto this ranking so that everything i say all of my opinions become fact like they become ingrained into your mind because everything i'm about to say is 100 percent objectively correct right this time i uh attached ratings to all the songs uh so starting off with a zero out of ten complete bottom spot sean mendes treat you better still absolutely horrendous song i hate it uh one out of tens here we are Next up, we have Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. I, it was not this close to the bottom a year ago, but this time it is because like so a lot of people have PTSD for certain overplayed songs. For me, it's Closer. I tried back in 2016. I tried so hard to enjoy the song. I never managed to, and now I just have absolutely... Uh, no motivation whatsoever to ever return to this song. I want it to disappear from my mind forever. Next up, Jocelyn Flores by XXX. I still think this is one of the least effective emo songs I've ever heard. Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. Uh, in the past year, I have grow had started to have a bit more resentment towards slow piano ballads with terrible singers so yeah this one's bad thunder by imagine dragons still such an annoying song all of me by john legend uh, i don't hate it as much as i did a year ago but it's still so boring and the lyrics are terrible without me by halsey Another overplayed real song I just want to forget about. I can't believe I have to return to these songs for this video. Then finally, a new one. The Yeah, this is the first new entry onto this list since a year ago. Cold Heart by Elton John and Dua Lipa. Just so, so, so mind-numbingly boring. Next up, we're on to the 2 out of 10s. Uh, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. <sighs> She's just... Just make normal pop music, please. You have a good voice. Seven Rings was not a good way to put that good voice to use. Heat Waves by Glass Animals. Uh, I still think this is super, super annoying, but I'm just growing tired of calling it annoying. It's just, I barely even notice it when I listen to it anymore. That's how much I've heard it. Uh... Something just like this by the Chainsmokers featuring Coldplay. It still has one of the saddest drops I have ever heard. And speaking of sad, we have Sad by XXX. This song is sad. Not in a sad way, but in a sad way, if you get what I mean. Uh, Someone You Love by Louis Capaldi. This song has just been shrinking on me more and more. There's just nothing to it. There's nothing good about it, like, not because there's a lot bad about it, but it, there's just not, there's just nothing in there, let alone stuff to call, stuff to call good. There's just no stuff, no substance. Let her go by passenger. Uh, I called this, like, complete garbage a year ago because, uh, because I thought the lyrics made no sense, like, they, they kind you get the theme but like the, it's presented in such a terrible way but now i just i just can't see this song the same way anymore i don't know stay with me by sam smith boring and finally i think this is the last one yep unforgettable by french montana featuring suede lee sometimes the chorus from this song gets stuck in my head 
like it's pretty catchy i'm not gonna lie but then you actually listen to the song and it sounds terrible next up the three out of ten uh memories by maroon five just mildly sad song over canon and d whatever one kiss by calvin harris uh, i just never felt this song the group has never hit me believer by imagine dragons i used to love the song when i was like eight but not anymore another love by tom odell i actually put this song in the bottom 10 uh a year back i i don't hate it that much it's i still don't like it at all but i don't know i don't know what i was so appalled by a year ago i'm not sure a uh, one dance by drake nah Riptide by Vance Joy. I cannot believe people still remember this song that exists. I bet at least half of you watching this video right now, uh, well, by saying half of you, I am assuming that I'm going to get at minimum one view from this, but let's say I get at least two views. I am going to bet at least half of you do not remember what this song sounds like, and when you, when you, search it up on youtube you click on it you listen to it you be like oh that song okay that exists still i cannot believe it does um i want to be yours by arctic monkeys like actually a week ago i listened to every arctic monkeys album like all some of them like in one sitting i was just speed running all of them and out of all of the albums we chose to give billions and billions of streams. We chose AM. Really? Why? And then finally you have Die For You by The Weeknd. You know I love The Weeknd. He's my favorite artist. But I have never cared for this song. Now we're into the 4 out of 10s. We're actually at the first song I had never listened to prior to this video. Which is Every Breath You Take by The Police. Some of you are going to be calling blasphemy. Like how could you have never heard this? I I listened to it. I couldn't recall ever hearing any of it. So that was my first time. Uh, there was this one part. This It sounded like a chorus. And it, it was banging. Like it was good. And then it just never came back. So I don't even know if it was a chorus. But the rest of it. Boring. Lyrics just nothing in the sound uh, it's there's just not a lot there so wasn't a big fan of it senorita i butchered that pronunciation but i actually if i made this list back in 2019 this song would have went straight to the bottom spot i don't hate it that much anymore lovely by billy eilish and khalid it's just not nearly as big as it thinks it is. A uh, watermelon sugar by Harry Styles. Come on, watermelon sugar. Are you for real? L love yourself. I was about to say lose yourself. Nope. Love yourself by Justin Bieber. Boring song, but I like the sentiment. A uh, lean on. Never really been a fan of that one. A uh, flowers by Miley Cyrus. Another new entry since a year ago. Second biggest song of the year, never was never a fan of it. And then Wonderwall by Oasis. I think I put this in the bottom 20 last year because I thought the singing was atrocious. I, I still think it's what's bringing the song down, which is why I still don't really like the song. But it's not that bad anymore. New Rules by Dua Lipa. Just never felt it. I don't think it's aged that well and then finally thinking out loud by Ed Sheeran once again I like the sentiment I think Ed Sheeran is a good singer but this song is just a little too slow for me now we're finally at the ones I neutral on five out of tens starting off with sorry by Justin Bieber do I really need to talk about that song bad guy by Billie Eilish I think it sounds pretty cool but it's just never hit for me. Havana by Camilla Cabello. Let's just forget Young Thug is mentioned here. You see this thing featuring Young Thug. Let's try and ignore that. Maybe it'd go up to a six or seven. But okay. Dance Monkey by Tones and I. I've never been annoyed by this song. 
Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, same thing. I've never been annoyed by this song, but I just hear so much negativity about these two. It's kind of it's kind of got to me, you know. So I can't give it like a six or higher. Like I probably would have if I didn't hear so many people dissing these two songs. Um, Do I Want to Know by Arctic Monkeys. It's better than the Arctic Monkeys song from earlier, but it's still not my favorite stay this one actually grew on me uh not since the last ranking but when it first came out in 2021 i didn't think much of it but it's kind of catchy hearing it so much on the radio and that's why in the last year's ranking and this one i've been pretty neutral on it don't start now if i do a leap is a weird one because i am still neutral on it i am waiting for the day that I can see what everybody else sees in this song, but I still don't. Uh, Congratulations by Post Malone was actually uh, like a 2 out of 10 last year. Even though Post Malone, like I'm pretty sure I enjoy Post Malone more than 90% of the population. But I actually gave this song bottom 20 last year. Well, you guys are right. This one, this one kind of hits. Like I, I like it now. Great job. You guys knew Post Malone better than me. I guess I will resign as my as Post Malone super fan. Wake Me Up by Avicii. Yes, I still don't really feel this one. I'm sorry. A Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. My feelings for this one are so complicated. I don't really feel like getting into it right now, but I've just never been able to call this that good. A photograph by Ed Sheeran dropped the falsetto and this would be way better. And finally, Roses by St. John. This one has been shrinking on me, but it's still a banger, I guess. Now we're up to the good ones. The cool ones. 6 out of 10, Faded by Alan Walker is a Roblox song. But, like... It was such a good Roblox song. Come on, guys. Uh, the Kitty by Bad Bunny. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's not much. But, yeah, I like it. There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. Still, off the top of my head, uh, if you just ask me, hey, what's a good Shawn Mendes song? I'm always going to say There's Nothing Holding Me Back. It's probably his most memorable song. <laughs> Sorry about that. EXO Tour Life by Lil Uzi. This one is actually at, I think it would have been a 3 out of 10 last year. But yeah, it's grown on me ever since. Because you know what happened between last year's ranking and this year's? The release of Pink Tape. And that, that made me realize, wow, Lil Uzi is actually a really good vibe artist. So yeah. I like EXO Tour Life now. You guys were right. Uh, Too Good at Goodbyes. Really nice ballad from Sam Smith. Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. Do I really have to talk about this one? Uh, God's Plan by Drake. Um, surprisingly, this one's actually grown on me a tiny bit. I, I think it is a good representation of what 2018 was like so yeah fine and then next up we have two songs from olivia rodrigo driver's license and good for you like for some reason i just could not get on board with these two songs back in 2021 but i they've been very 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 slowly growing on me like in 2021, they were 4 out of 10. Now they are 6 out of 10. Uh, I kind of combined the two because I'm not sure why. They just, they're like the same for me. I'm going to do the same with Bruno Mars, Just The Way You Are. And When I Was Your Man, uh, he, I think his music sounds really good. But the subject matters of his song is just a little bland. Uh, Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Yeah, really, really nice ballad. Let Me Love You. Uh, The chorus is amazing. The rest, 
not so much but the course really is amazing like really good uh, no role models by j cole this one's a banger yeah it it goes hard in the whip in the hood in the club everywhere but it's it's pretty long it's a it's a little lackluster but the song structure isn't great but it is a really memorable song. And finally, we have Lil Nas X, Montero. This song is pretty weird. Like, ever since it came out, it has always been, like, hovering between high 6 out of 10 and low 7 out of 10. I have no idea why. But now we're getting into the 7 out of 10s, these really good ones. Um, The Night We Met My Lord Huron was, act was also a new one. Probably the newest one for me because before this video, I had never heard of it. Like, I had never seen this song title ever until earlier today when I pulled up the list of Spotify streaming records Wikipedia page and saw, Hey, what's this thing here? Where is it? Damn, where did it go? This thing. I have never seen this before, but yeah, I've been missing out. Good stuff. Uh, Demons is still one of Imagine Dragons' best songs. Um, As it was, I will never get tired of this song. It's such a good pop song. Better Now by Post Malone is a real banger. And then you have two, once again, another like couplet of Bruno Mars songs. Locked Out of Heaven, and that's what I like. These two are bangers. The groove on both of these songs are crazy good for completely different reasons. So yeah, I like them. Rockstar by Post Malone. The vibe of this song is amazing, but the lyrics hold it back a little bit. Uh, the Hills by The Weeknd only at a 7 out of 10. That is wild, but yeah... It's just not hitting like it should be. It still hits really hard. Like, that's why I'm placing it so high, but I'm just not feeling it that much. And then Adele, Someone Like You. Come on, it's it's Adele. I don't like it as much as some other people, but it's still really good. Yellow by Coldplay. Really nice song. And then the big one. Bohemian Rhapsody all the way down at a 7 out of 10. I really love the first part of the song, that arena rock part. That is like phenomenal. I completely understand why so many people love that part. But then the rest of the song, you guys actually still stick around that for those parts like that. Like... I've never cared for anything past like the first two minutes or so of this song. I just, yeah, I got, there's the really good part and then the rest is kind of mid, you know? Like, I've never understood, seriously. But I still really like the song. And now we're to the ones that I really love. The 8 out of 10. These are the bangers. Starting off, of course, with The Weeknd and Save Your Tears. I, I'm so glad this version is here instead of the Ariana Grande remix. This is a, this is a great song. A Goosebumps by Travis Scott goes hard. It's amazing. Both Travis Scott and Kendrick Lamar have amazing performances as well on that hypnotic beat. A Levitating by Dua Lipa is such a great pop song. Uh, the Baby also has a really good remix on it. It was such a sad day when he got cancelled and the radios had to pull him out. They played the original without the, the Baby remix. But he's, he's such a good part of the song. He's like essential at this point. Marshmallow and Bastille, happier once I said this uh, last year, but I will say it again because it is really cool. This is the song that kind of brought me into pop music. Like I was mostly listening to 
SpongeBob music back in 2018, early 2019. But then I heard Happier. Uh, it was in grade five. Uh, Gazel was playing some music out loud in class. I heard Happier. Like, damn, that's a good song. And then I got into pop music. So now this is a really special song for me. That, that I, I don't listen to it that much anymore. But yeah. Hosea, Hosier, I don't know how to pronounce it. I see a lot of people say Hosier. I say Hosea because I speak French. I know, unfortunate, but I I speak French. Kind of sad now, but Take Me to Church is a really good song. Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. This one was a hidden gem for so long, but now it is. A very popular gem for very, very good reason because this is good stuff. A uh, sickle mode by Travis Scott is still what's that word I'm looking for? I don't know, but it's like it feels special, it feels like a moment in rap history, you know, because with all of those different beats beat switches the Travis Scott and Drake having some of their best raps their best ribby raps of their entire careers like yeah this is a crazy song and I love it uh, Mike Posner I took a pill in Ibiza this is a really good song really great remix probably one of the best remixes I have ever heard as in it is super effective and turn uh, a song into a way, way better song. So yeah, uh, Post Malone Circles. I still love this song as much as I did back when it came out. Not sure why, but I really like it. Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Uh, yeah, I do think this one goes crazy heart you guys are right uh i've listened to like in the past year i've become way more comfortable with rock music because i've been listening to that that was probably my top genre of the past year uh when i made the ranking last year uh, I placed most of the rock songs like Queen and this one, Nirvana, a few spots lower than they actually should have been. I'm not sure why I did that. I just I just didn't want to play something a tiny bit too low. As in like, if I play something like five spots too low, then people will be like, no, you're underrating it. What are you doing? But if I place it like... 10 spots too low you would be like nope he just has no idea what he's doing and you you're not going to get mad at someone for not knowing what they're doing you're going to get mad at them for being s slightly too harsh on it you know so that's why i placed it like that but now i'm completely comfortable saying yeah i like this a tiny bit less than other people i'm i'm not afraid to say that all right, Lucid Dreams by Juice World, still a banger, still one of his best songs. Don't Stop Me Now, my queen, way better than Bohemian Rhapsody. I think it works very well for what it tries to be. It doesn't try to be, like, completely out of this world. It's a little more constrained, but still super fun, and yeah, I really like it. And then finally, we have Shallow by Lady Gaga. Uh, I placed this a bit lower a year ago, but because of all of the music I've been listening to the past year, I've listened to a lot. Uh, you know, I'm kind of looking for the songs like these, like Shallow, that really are that memorable because the buildup makes this song... Uh, quite a phenomenon if you ask me like it's actually something to remember 
And when you return to it, you'll want to because you're not going to hear a lot like it. So that's why this song is way higher this time around. And then finally, we're at the 9 out of 10s, the actual bangers. Here's another new entry into the list, In the End by Linkin Park. It's never been my favorite song from them, but I've been hearing it so much in the memes. And yeah, it's grown on me. You guys are right. It really is that good. Till I Collapse by Eminem is a super, like, super aggressive. And it's just really powerful. It's just Eminem in his prime going at it. And what more do I have to say? It's Eminem in his prime. Incredible. Uh, Can't Hold Us by Malcolm Moore, Ryan Lewis, featuring Ray Dalton. This is still an anthem for the ages. It's definitely Malcolm Moore's best song, no doubt. Counting Stars by One Republic. I am not backing down on this one. I still think it is an amazing song. The same thing goes for Uptown Funk. Uh, probably one of the best examples. One of the best examples of a song being popular because it really is that good. Like, it completely deserves the success it has as the biggest song of the decade. Like, I am vibing to it so much now. I was vibing to it so much when I was uh, seven, you know. It feels like a timeless song already. Humble by Kendrick Lamar. A year ago, I was a little uh, embarrassed to say how much I like this song. But nope, I still think this is one of the hardest rap songs I have ever heard. Kendrick Lamar goes crazy. Even if he is just flexing, he's not going into his deep themes like he usually is. He goes hard on this one. I, I just really love this song. Uh, Sunflower. By Post Malone and Swaley, you know what I said earlier about Shallow by Lady Gaga, how I was really looking for the songs that are memorable. Uh, what I think is so memorable about Sunflower is how unmemorable it is, but despite that, it still sticks so much, like... <laughs> It's always a blast listening to this song, even though it should it shouldn't be at all. It should be so little, but it's just one of the chillest songs I have ever heard. What can I say? A Star Boy by the Daft by the Weekend featuring Daft Punk obviously beats them out though, because come on, it's Star Boy by the Weekend. The Weekend, like. Starboy is already a really good song. I'm sure a lot of us can agree on that. And then The Weeknd is my favorite artist. Can you believe that I love Starboy? No way. Um, and then we've got two songs with Eminem, Without Me, and Lose Yourself. Obviously, both of these songs are insanely hype. Oh, I forgot to mention Without Me is another new entry since last year. Yeah, what can I say? I've I've been listening to so much like slow stuff like singer songwriter folk uh Americana you know sometimes I just want those really hype songs and that is how I have realized that Eminem really does deserve to be appreciated as much as he does like because even though it's been decades since he was putting stuff out like this, he is still unmatched. Well, maybe his recent music is completely matched by a ton of stuff, but when he was at his hungriest, he put out some amazing stuff, and it's still hard to compete with that even now. But now, finally, we're moving on to the best songs. Starting off, uh, at number four, we are going to give it to Industry Baby by Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow. I still remember when this song came out, seeing that amazing music video. It was so funny. And then 
the actual song is still uh but it's still one of my most listened to songs right now. You know why? Because every morning I wake up, my phone has its alarm ringtone set to Spotify. And it plays uh, a playlist with only two songs in it. For the gang and industry, baby. So I still hear the song a ton. So I still really like it. If I've been able to listen to this nearly every day and still not get tired of it. Next up, we're actually giving number three to Blinding Lights by The Weeknd because, yes, I've always defaulted to calling this my favorite song of all time, but let's be honest, in the past year, was this the song I've listened to the most out of all these? No, it was not. So I'm just giving it the number three this time because I'm not feeling it as much as these next two. We're going to have Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Uh, it actually took me until last year to hear this song for the first time and I was absolutely blown away. I could not get enough of this song. It really is that good. But, you know, it's only a number two because it's here instead of Fallen Kingdom by Captain Sparkles. But anyways, number one is going to be Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Uh, I thought... Last year when I made that ranking, I actually heard Mr. Brightside like only two weeks before I dropped that video and I placed it at number two, right? So I was thinking maybe I am overreacting. Maybe this song is going to cool off on me in just a few weeks and then I won't think about it. But nope, it's going up from number two straight to number one. It is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite songs. Every single time I return to it, I think to myself, it cannot be that good. Then it really is that good. It completely sweeps me off my feet every single time I hear it. I think it is just a one of a kind song. Uh, I still absolutely love it. And that's finally the end of this ranking. So. I also made this little graph here to show the distribution of scores. Uh, this isn't terrible. But I still think this is really bad because you see how fat these lines for the bottom few scores like 3s, 2s, and 1s out of 10s. Usually I do not give that many low scores. So yeah, this graph is already bad and then you take into consideration how these are the most streamed songs of all time and I still managed to give these all so many low scores down here that's I think that's terrible that's very disappointing uh so yeah that's about it for this video I hope you liked it goodbye